Alrighty. I have done about 15 upgrades for some people and uh, to 2010. Things have gone pretty well, provided that you set everything up in 09 and migrate over from 09 to 10. Um, there's one or two issues, and I'm going to go over those here in a second. Autodesk has put this thing out, and it's on my blog. It's also on the Autodesk uh, discussion board. But uh, you need to try to stay away from this if you can. Um, you really don't have to have the, use any of this stuff um, unless you forgot something. Um, but one thing you want to stay away from is the net load and the load legacy UI. It's going to load up, if, especially if you load this toolbar menu DLL, it will load up everything that's in the package and you're going to end up with doubles of, say if you've had this uh, CAD manager up here, I like to preload some of this stuff right in here because I always use that stuff, so I just leave it up there. You're going to end up with doubles. Um, it does sometimes leave you doubles of this here, but that's easy to get rid of. But um, the other ones aren't so easy. Um, you can still do it, but it's just time consuming. You just really don't have to if you just set it up correctly. Um, and like I said, use that command or use that package if you forgot something um, and you need to load it. Now, here's another issue that. I've, I've had if you go into Windows or window you'll see the pull down and in 010 when you migrate this over this note these pull downs no longer work that's exactly why I have everything up here that I normally use loaded up so that they're there and I don't have to worry about it I've got enough space up there I'm not going to worry about it um, but what I've done here is well let's just show you what this does it's um, we'll just go to say documents and it says to, uh, toggle document menu not available. It says no function defined or de no, no function definition. Uh, I may send that to uh, subscription support and see if they can come up with an answer. It may be just the fact that I may have to develop that uh, command something. Um, maybe it'll fix it or, or maybe I'm doing something wrong. If anybody knows, let me know, if, please. So what my workaround is is to build your own menu bar with all of this in there that way it's there you don't have to go hunting for it it's not taking up a lot of space um, and I've just went ahead and put everything in there you could actually just what you keep up here but you could uh, eliminate in there um, but I just recreated that whole pull downs drop out or fly out menu I've just recreated it in here so everything's there and I don't use electrical a lot but I do sometimes draw cable trays and stuff like that I mean you can actually get some of that stuff on a pallet too but um, I like to have it up there um, and the way you do that is you have to do it in 09 before you migrate over as you can see here this is my this is my 010 I would come in here to 09 and that was my migration. Everything that was up here, including that flyout, came into oh, to 10, and I'm ready to go. All my right click came in. All my colors came in. Um, toolbars are set up. It's pretty simple. The only problem I see is that one little issue, and I can actually live with that. So, anyways, you know, bottom line is Autodesk really needs to uh, support us, all of its users doesn't seem fair for them not to uh, support all of us uh, but they've chosen not to so anyways when you go into 09 you can see I've got this drop down that I built and I actually built one for East Coast okay I have East Coast CAD add-in um, they have also failed to support all of their users by forcing us into or trying to force us into a ribbon um, you know AutoCAD, you, you just don't have to f do everything that Microsoft does. Okay, there's my rant. Um, so we'll go customize to, to build that menu. It's pretty simple for those of you who don't know. Most of you probably know how to do this. But I've had a few phone calls with some problems. So, And 
basically what you want to do is if you could just type in CUI and this this customized thing will pop open exactly the way this is um, what you have to do is you have to go to transfer you're going to have to come over here you have to build a new menu a new CUI file and I've done two of them here uh, the one I've used and then a new one for this video um, I'll show you that new one real quick as you can see that menu that I built uh, in there is all in here all set up is nice and neat and organized the way I like it um, and the way you do that is you'll have to come in you have to create a new one all right and you can see I don't have that in there so what you want to do is you come in here you go new menu and you just type in my menu or whatever you want to name it AutoCAD screwed me something like that um, and you could go back over here and you have to go to your main CUI no wait a minute hold on there we go you can come in here you just hit that customize box right there and you have to come into each one of these little CUI files right so get the first one is is design I believe right and you can copy that All right come back over to transfer and I may not be doing this right. Uh, this is the only way I could figure out how to use it. And paste it in. So it's sitting there. And you come back over to customize. Drop down. Go down to the next one. If you want that one. It's documentation. All right. Copy. Go back to transfer. Come over here. Paste. And back over here. And you just keep on going down. Down the line. And this one's 3D cab or cab manager. Copy, transfer, and paste. Okay, and that's what you do. Then you can just come over here. I'll just click no, no, and you can organize it. You know, you could stack them where you like. Put a separator in. You put a separator, you just right click uh, insert separator and it will put one below wherever you're clicked into. And you can create more sub menus. I don't think you need to do all that. It's pretty well already built up for the nice new fly outs and stuff. But Okay, now to get that into your main CUI, you come back over here, go back into your main CUI, come back down here to your menus. You can see mine's already in there transfer um, and you just take this right here and drag it over I'm not going to do that because it'll overwrite it and whatever but just take and drag it over and then save it click OK and there it is it'll be there um, so there it is one other thing you want to do is when you're in here after you migrate and you want to test or if you're going to play around with that file in here this or, or these files that uh, Autodesk has provided I would build yourself a little test workspace so that you can always go back to your uh, old one and that's about it Otherwise, I think if you set everything up, you migrate, you shouldn't have any problems other than that one that I just found. Um, I can't find any. All my toolbars came over. Um, the toolbar load, of course, into here um, equals uh, it's a, it's a slash toolbars. It'll load all your toolbars that are available, and you can play with those and figure out what you want to do with them. But that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Um, takes a little bit of work and a little bit of time. But uh, it can get done. You can be back and up and running nice and comfortable where you can find everything. Hope that helps.